So why, why have you come to the conference? Why have you come to the Eurodac conference? Well, I think the Eurodac conference is the moment where all the relevant civil society actors and I would say development thinkers come together every uh, year or two years and it's a critical moment for thinking and building alliances, so that's what I'm here. And so what do you want to take, uh, you say in building alliances, are you looking for partners mm -hmm. to work together? Is that what you're looking for or what are you actually looking for to take away with you? Well, I think we are, I'm really looking forward to get a shared understanding of the threats and the trends we have in our hands and of course build our work into the future. So with partners we are already in touch with, of course, but trying to think of new things that we could do together to improve uh, the things we are fighting for, so fair taxation, uh, good aid, uh, and transparency. And um, how did you feel about today's plenaries? Uh, probably more likely to be the second one. Um, mm -hmm. how did, what were the good things for you out of that? What came from it? Well, I think the good things of our plenary today were that it was setting a big picture. And normally when we are policy people working on certain development topics, we can go really down to the detail and, and miss that we have a big picture we need to pay attention to and we need to think politically about how to bring change because we are not as powerful and just having a detailed analysis will not help us that much. So I think today we had a very good uh, overall analysis. Uh, I think tomorrow we will have to think about what are the concrete steps we can take and how we can strategize in the short to long term together to make some real change. But today was an inspiring day. Uh, what, uh, what sort of thing will you be saying tomorrow in the, in the breakout sessions, in the work sessions? Uh, is, do you think that the change will come from through politics or do you think it will come through changing mindsets of populists or do you think it's all of that? Well, I think definitely we are in a time where we need to fight the, uh, the battle of ideas. We've been having this uh, extreme nationalism push in too many countries and while we may feel safe because it didn't went as bad as it could have gone in France or in the Netherlands, the real thing is that this kind of nationalist rhetoric has been pushing the agenda in the wrong direction and we are still in that environment. So I, for me the battle of ideas is going to be an important one and I think the southern voice and southern leadership is going to be another important one. So we need strong southern voices to shape what's going to happen in the world next. So it's good as uh, European and I'm currently working in the United States for Oxfam but I'm European too, coming together and thinking but we need these southern voices uh, from other regions that will bring this kind of fresh air and help us think of a different, a different world. Is this your first Eurodad conference? Oh no, for God's no, sake. No. So as, as a felicitator yeah, for Eurodad, what mm. do you think of them and how, what sort of role do wow. they play? Yeah, I, th I think Eurodad has played a very relevant role for the last 20 years. That's as much as I've known. I, I used to be a, an Eurodad board member in 2000, so I've been pretty familiar to the evolution of this network. And I think it's getting better, and honestly, it's managing to get very good, uh, a very good, a great team inside, a very acute analysis and a very relevant network of of members and partners that's making its work better. So I think I just have to say congratulations and, and thanks for all the work.